notice Hey, baby, yeah, tryna look focused Some things might be different Come around, now they wanna see me kill it Talk down with my niggas and feel it I ran it up, now they run around with me I bring it up, now my star singing with me Girl, you stuck and you wrecking little silly what, what it do, do JV crew? It's your boy G. And it's your girl V. Today we are doing the cheeseburger challenge. We are doing eight cheeseburgers a piece, including a medium fry. Then we got McDonald's. I ate a little bit of them, so please excuse the low box. It wasn't that full in the beginning, but hey. And then I also got a large Sprite Fanta. Yes, sir. We got one too. Yeah. <laughs> we got ketchup. Yeah, ketchup. <laughs> so we're getting timed. Yeah. So I mean, mm -hmm. when that when that turned to five minutes, do you want to start or mm -hmm. another couple seconds? Mm -hmm. Let's get our questions while we wait. Okay. So we're also doing another Q and A session. So it's gonna be lit. Five, questions, right? four, three, two, two three, one. Go. How many chickens would it take to kill an elephant? <laughs> it's gonna take a thousand? Hmm. Or impossible. <laughs> I don't know. The elephants are huge, man. Yeah. They are big, so. A thousand work? I don't know, they probably get crushed too. You know the answer? Nope. Hey, you still eating? Mm -hmm. So you see me eating? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I think that's impossible, I don't know. Hmm. I was saying the same thing, the thousand, but then it's impossible. I feel like one step, I'd kill about 25 of them. I don't have any funny questions to ask, but I have questions for married couples. But this is for us. Mm -hmm. What about our life makes you happy? What about our life 
makes you happy. The time we spend together and our children. Everything. Okay. Everything about our life makes me happy. I'm on burger number three, but I am so I'm getting full. If peanut butter wasn't called peanut butter, what would it be called? If peanut butter wasn't called peanut butter, what would it be called? Mm -hmm. Um. I don't want to say nothing nasty. Oh, nut butter. <laughs> well, that's still nasty, but mm -hmm. so nasty depending on where your your mind at. Mm, sound weird. Your mind in the gut is gonna be nasty. <laughs> As in nuts, nuts is is peanuts. So. There's another word. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking nut butter. I'll say peanut cream. Peanut cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what made you fall in love with me? Your beauty. Your attitude, the walk, the talk. Deep, deep love. And the fact that I feel that you love me. You know that I love you. It's the connection. If y'all like these videos that we're doing, our challenge videos that we're doing, I'm gonna eat two of them or three. Keep liking our videos so we'll know that you like them. This is my fourth one. Yeah. Did you ask me a question? Oh, you asked me here. Yeah, you asked me. You answered it yeah. before it stopped. Okay. My turn. What would be the coolest animal to scale up to the size of a horse? It's a unicorn for unicorn is chicken for a horse, pony, stuff. But a unicorn kind of fake. Um. I don't know, a lion, tiger, I don't know. Man. A lion or a tiger? I have no that'll idea. Be, that'll be hectic. Uh -uh. We'll be, we'll boy, we'll be in trouble then. Oh, you mean like any animal that we I want to get that size? Mm hmm Oh. I don't know. I don't think any animal is cool. No. That should be like that big. Because 
they'll think that they could they'll think that they got um power over you. Shoot, most of them think that anyway. Mm-hmm. When they're bigger than you. Mm-hmm. And that is a horse. A horse is bigger than you. What one thing would make you feel successful? What one thing? Mm hmm. Um, what one thing would make me feel successful? Yeah. Having my family, you know, all knowing about God. Five, four, Believe three, in him. two, one. You know that. We all make it to the same place, heaven one day. Not no time soon. But when we old as I don't know what. That'll make me feel successful. Just knowing that my family going to heaven. What would the world be like? <clears throat> what would the world be like if it had if it was filled with male and female copies of you? <laughs> what would the world be like if it was filled with male and female copies of me? Mm -hmm. Um The world would be um independent. Um and also have a good mindset on what they want to do in life and know what they want to achieve. Not just say it, but make things happen. The world would be more successful if if people um, had a good head on their shoulder and know, shoulder and know what they want in life, know how they want to get it and how they want to achieve it. Um, me, I'm, I have a business mindset, an entrepreneurial mindset, so things that I want to accomplish are happening and goals and dreams are happening. Um, nothing is going to happen overnight, of course. So if the world was like me, they just have a good head on their shoulder, know exactly what they want to do in life, make things happen and go and reach their goals and, you know, go for things. And, you know, it's not gonna be boring. Just you know, striving for dreams. Um, is you know, everybody gonna have fun. Everybody gonna enjoy themselves. Right. Because I like. I also love to get out. I, I can't sit in one spot for too long. Um. So. Excuse. I have to be on the move constantly. So that's just me. You know, that's just me. I like to be on the move. So yeah, the world would just be a lot more easy, and it wouldn't have problems. People wanna have attitudes, random attitudes out of nowhere. People wanna be problematic or, you know, anything. You know, it should be a good place. It'll be a good faith-based driven place full of people with good dreams, hopes and dreams and mindset to take them where they wanna go. So, you know, and what also explore said. adventure, also explore the adventurous part of them. So yeah. Well said. Yeah, I hope, I hope it was you well said. Detail with them. I hope it was well said because I tried to go into details and explain as much as I could in a in a good way for people to understand what I mean. But um, you know, and I don't want to get too biblical up in here. I want you guys to understand exactly what I am saying. Can you ask me one more before we go? Yeah, I guess we can ask one more question because we for who ate they who finished the burger first? You won once again. I won again. Yep. Yay! Although we have four piece still left, <coughs> you finished your fourth one before I did. Okay, where do you see us in 10 years? Happy, successful, 
knowing God even more than we already do now. You know what I'm saying? Living our best life. Yep, awesome. Yes, sir. Yep, I was full, but I got a little hungry again. Uh, we're gonna close this video out, you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on anything we upload next. Share this video with your friends and family, man. We love y'all from the bottom of our hearts. Peace. Peace.